All right, what is up, you guys? Of course, always welcome back to yet another, I would say, OU game. But uh, yeah, my team is OU, even though it clearly is just come out as OU. But you know, I'm doing some fun stuff. I'm going up against Dylan, and I'm kind of worried as he clearly <laughs> he showed that he had intentions of doing well. And uh, this looks just about right. It's First of all, start up. this is a male team, right? But I think I have no issue besides core changing on Cinderace to be able to pull up sticker webs. So that kind of has to be the goal. And uh, we'll take it from there. Um, I see... I see myself doing somewhat well. Um, Rillaboom, I can kind of reverse sweep, I guess. But Rillaboom is going to be really important for this game. Uh, for my side if I want to really try to snag that sweep but yeah Dylan looks to be just about right and um, I don't know <laughs> this is a tough game as always and um, I think combo is gonna be good versus Cinderace which is probably only real response versus Cinderace is um, all things considered um, or rather I should say anything I can do versus Cinderace is based on um, the viability of my um, um, icy wind dog, yeah, that, that's cool. Um, but everything he, would, uh, he can do with Cinderace is based on what I can potentially do with my um, um, combo. I can speak and try to get that right. It's a defensive combo, so I kind of figure we can do something with that. This is this is plenty wonderful. This is this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I mean, he boom bursts and he's fine. Self rocking here. See, overdrive, yeah. We take that so well that I'm actually worried. Do I want to have himself locked into that? Now we go for final gamut here. For what it's worth, like any damage is good damage. Rain punch. Ah, I did the right call then. I really like this set of Shuckle because it's so weird. It, this is a set, by the way, that has been used in OU. So it is basically a really great way of getting up webs at the same time so that you're just being ridiculously annoying. Um, right? Reeves, let's do this. He should be able to do with some damage. He absolutely takes him on. But uh, look at this. Whack. You have no power here. <laughs> oh, the negotiator. For any Star Wars fans out there, try to. Nickname was a General Grievous, but I do believe I misspelled his name, but still it's the right name for this Pokemon. Um, now here's where things get interesting, because um, depending on his set, um, he does pressure me out clearly, but my response kinda is also... Oh no, actually this guy does alright. I do believe Gengar comes in for free, and that's never pretty, but besides that, Kama is kind of alright. Ground beating. Cool. Nope, sir. Nope, really nope. So this is a more defensive variant, so. What do I do against a more defensive Rillaboom? Because I do believe my set is walled. Kinda. I should our defense here. Um. Yeah, I really should. Um, if Gengar comes in, you know, so be it. We absolutely withdraw that to Gengar. That was our long R in that Gengar, but yeah. Basically, um, since I am defensive, I am... I am somewhat worried that Kamo does not outspeed Gengar. And if so, then I'll lose Kamo if he has Dazzling Gleam. 
There would be no reason for him of not doing that with that in mind. Should I gamble on this? No, I lose him if I do that. So let's in, let's bring in Bulf, which absolutely won't take in a hit better either, but uh, it's my best call. Let's see, Icy Wind. This is this is bothering me on so many levels. Not being being minus one is not bad, but I should absolutely attack there. Let's see who wants to take a crunch. Coming right up. Oh, he stays in. Is he sashed? Wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, oh, you. Alright, so let's see. Both Cinderace and Inteleon are faster on the switching when they come in. Because I'm at minus one speed. And Inteleon is probably one I'm more worried about. Charizard is also faster. And is not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, it's clearly floating. Um, ooh. Okay. This might be a small risk. It all depends on his set. He clearly could go for easy hurricane here. Flabless is physical. Took it like a boss, though. Really, really didn't expect. What item could it be if he is not heavy duty boots, right? The thing is here, I can't do anything to him anyway. So, we're bringing in Grievous. <laughs> because quite frankly, I have nothing besides him. And you should be able to force him out. And uh, let's see if he has Hurricane or Acrobatics. Um, Dragon Breath. Okay, this is weird, isn't it? Don't get me paralyzed. Good. Now, my turn. This this Charizard feels weird. Let's see, Rillaboom comes in. I want to see how much this do to Rillaboom. I'm just tempted by the thought that maybe I can to it kill him. From this range, please. Ah, oh, nah, 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 nah. 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 I am not there. Um, I'm kind of sitting in Fade here because this roller I know is somewhat defensive. It's probably going to have a drum beating. And I'll just go for a U-turn and see if we can get something out of that. Fade! Oh, look! We're setting the search. How about that? Let's see. Drum beating. Cool story, bro. And I think, since he's defensive, that I will outspeed him. So a choice pending U-turn coming right up. Let's see, he has Charizard left. I want to see. He has Charizard left. Charizard, Cinderace, and Inteleon. So... I don't know, like... Right, he does switch out to Cinderace. Don't want to see Cinderace. Still, though, I might actually have him in range. No, I'm still a thiefful. It would be risky. Also, I get myself boosted by one defense. I see it as an opportunity to be absolutely demolished by high jump kick. <laughs> Let's see, because if I get this nasty plot behind me, it's leftovers. Is it court change? Anyway, I clearly go for nasty plot here, right? That's that's the play. Please, please make me survive this high jump kick. I beg of you, low kick. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's not even protein. And this guy was so cocky working <laughs> with this game. I feel he underestimated me. 
Not to say the things I use are that powerful. I mean, powerful or more low kick. I guess we we we, we grab this sweep then. We get another feeful sweepish. I wonder what he must be thinking. Like, who uses a feeble? Men. Men of any any gender uses feeble. I gotta say, that shuckle set with sticky webs, I really enjoy that set. It clearly has been working for me. And, um... Oh, look at this! Look at this! I've been... I've been joking about feeble not being that competent. And here we are, getting ourselves another potential sweep with it. I think... I think you underestimated it. And Charizard absolutely gets flattened. So I think my opponent needs to reconsider a few things. I'll probably give him a few pointers out of this game. Heavy Duty Boots is main focus on Charizard. I think that's a copy-paste set for any kind. As without it, it's hopeless. Or not hopeless, but it's very hard to use. And it has a lot to do with the Stealth Rocks. And clearly having both Cinderace and Jim. And Charizard really made that set to go for Stealth Rocks so prominent for me. And you know, have a, due to the set of um, combo, we actually have a set, second Stealth Rocker. And it's because you can never have enough Stealth Rockers if you want to fit something on a team. And since uh, Shuggle was suicide lead, it usually only gets one of the two up. And Sick Web is always, if not the only focus. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with this team. It's it's not great, but it just that it works is more than enough for me. At least for these kind of more casual games. I should probably send him um, Libero Skull Bunny too, so he feels a bit better about himself. So yeah, it was probably... I feel like this was a team that had monsters were EV'd, but also a few monsters that I feel if they were, I couldn't tell. And that's that's not a good sign. But to my opponent here, Dylan, I really want to thank you for this game. And um, I hope... Yeah, you know, I clearly tried to help this guy out a little bit because I think he needs it. With that said, as always guys, thank you for of course watching and have a great day. Take care, one. Bye. Oh yeah, you know, like this video, right? <laughs>